In the 1960s, NASA's space program inspired young Americans of all genders, but unfortunately, girls had to look a lot harder than boys for role models because there were no women astronauts. Girls inspired by the Soviet Union's space program had no such problem, however. They knew right where to look. Here are five pioneering things about Valentina Tereshkova. Number one, she was the first woman in space. When Valentina Tereshkova piloted her Vostok spacecraft into low Earth orbit on June 16, 1963, she shattered the highest glass ceiling there is. She became the first woman to fly in space. She also became the 12th person overall to fly in space and the youngest person to fly in space up to that point. She was 26 at the time. Oh yeah, one more thing. Number two, she was the first civilian to fly in space. The Soviet space program was controlled by the military, and although NASA was not a military agency, all the astronauts at that time were military veterans. Tereshkova was given an honorary induction into the Soviet Air Force when she joined the Cosmonaut Corps, but before that, she had no military experience. First civilian in space. That is one hell of a resume, I would say. Beat that, Amelia Earhart! You suck! I'm sorry, I got carried away. Amelia! I'm sorry, Amelia. Number three, she came from a working class background. Not only was Tereshkova a civilian, she was a bona fide member of the proletariat. Her father was a truck driver who was killed in World War II, and her mother worked at a textile factory. Valentina worked at a factory too, but she also took up the hobby of skydiving in her early 20s. The experience she gained from parachuting prepared her for the space program. In 1962, she was one of only five women selected to join the Cosmonaut Corps from a field of over 400 applicants. The Soviet government, which carefully controlled the release of information regarding the space program for maximum propaganda value, emphasized Tereshkova's working class roots, but though the propagandists may have framed her story to send the message they wanted, one thing they didn't have to do was exaggerate her accomplishments. Number four, she logged more hours in space than American astronauts. Tereshkova flew only once to date, I'll get to that in a second, on Vostok 6, which was the final flight of the Vostok program, incidentally. But during that single flight, she orbited the Earth 48 times, and she remained in space for nearly three full days. That's longer than any American astronaut's flight had been up to that time. In fact, that is longer than every American astronaut flight up to that time combined. It's worth noting that Tereshkova flew less than a year after John Glenn told a U.S. Congressional Committee that the lack of NASA women astronauts was because of a fact of our social order. As you know, if you saw the previous episode of this series, John Glenn is a personal hero of mine, but I'm glad that the Soviet Union space program didn't share his attitude toward women astronauts because Valentina Tereshkova is a hero of mine too. And I'm not alone. Number five, she continues to inspire people decades after her flight. Following the Vostok 6 mission, Tereshkova was awarded the highest honor in the Soviet Union, the hero of the Soviet Union. Then she attended the Soviet Air Force Academy, became an engineer, was appointed to numerous political positions, represented the Soviet Union at many international conferences throughout the 60s and 70s, including several that were specifically devoted to women's rights, she served in the Supreme Soviet, which was the highest legislative body of the USSR. And in 2011, she was elected to serve in the State Duma, which is the lower house of Russia's current legislature. In 2007, when she turned 70 years old, she said she wanted to go back to space. In fact, she said she wanted to go to Mars. How cool is that? Oh, and here's a picture of her with Neil Armstrong. Right? <laughs> the hardest part is picking only five. Catch you next time. Hey folks, hope you found this video worthwhile. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.